Hello everyone, welcome again to Jira Cloud Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can configure boards in Jira. So we have already understood an introduction about the board, why boards and visual management is important. And then we have also understood how to create new boards in Jira Cloud. Now let us understand what all configuration options are available to configure the boards in Jira. Okay, so this is the classic project in Jira Cloud and this is my board at the moment, right? So let me show you how you can configure this particular board. So this particular board has multiple columns So to do this column. I haven't named it. Uh, so it is just showing as new column then in review in development and done. Now let's say for example, what all configuration can I do on this particular board? Just go to the right side and click on the ellipses here and there are certain options here so you have the board settings to configure the board which we'll cover uh, in detail then to create a new board we have already understood in the previous tutorial how to create new board then you have hide menus so if you say hide menus this menu will get hidden all right um, the other is show detail view so which basically will show the detail view of the selected story right the next option is open issue in a dialogue so if i say open issue in a dialogue it will open in the dialogue or if i change it to open issues in sidebar it will open the selected issues in the sidebar you can see in the right hand side it's opening the selected issues in the sidebar and then you have expand all swim lane collapse all swim lanes being disabled at the moment and i'll explain you why these are disabled because we haven't configured swim lanes yet and then you have the hide epic label so epic we don't have any epics at at the moment but when you have epic you have epic labels and if you want to hide those labels you can click on epic hide epic label to print the cards so as i have explained that um, in the physical boards you actually you know write the uh, the task work items in, on the piece of paper or the cards and then paste it on the physical wall, right? So Jira provides you option to print these cards or the stories and then paste it on the physical board if you want to track like that. So to print that you have the option to print cards as well. Now when we go to the board settings, so if I go to the board settings here, so we have certain general settings which we have covered in the previous tutorial so i won't get into much detail uh, we have covered the columns as well so to add the column we have covered to you click on add column and you can add the column to delete a column simply click on delete icon here and the column will be deleted so now this particular you know board has to do in review in development and done right so let me remove um, you know this particular status and the this right hand side you have the unmapped status so any statuses which are not mapped in this particular board won't will be listed here in the unmapped status uh, section now one thing to remember very important thing to remember that many times you will uh, you know notice that some of the issues in a particular status are not displayed on the board so the very uh, you know obvious reason might be that the status in which that particular issue is is not mapped to any of the columns and if it is not mapped to any of the column then that particular issue won't be displayed on the board right then uh, the next thing is swim lanes so swim lanes basically are nothing but it's it's sort of a row for a particular board you have uh, you know column and uh, rows so when you want to group the issues in a particular race row so for example you want to group the issues on the board as per you know stories or queries assignees etc then you can group the issues based on the swim lanes and depending on what you choose here so for example i'll choose assignee then it will ask where do you want to show the unassigned issues so you can say show below other swim lanes or so above other swim lanes right so if you choose below then unassigned issues will be shown at the last so if i simply go back to the board now i'll show you how the swim lanes will look like so now you can see these are the swim lanes so you have now the column and the rows as well right so admin 
has one issue then rcv test has one issue assigned then this particular third user has another two issues assigned so this is how the swim lane configuration changes your board layout so you can configure these swim lanes accordingly now this swim lane is as per the assigning now going back to the board settings again here uh, we have covered swim lane right so you there are different options you can just go through and play around in the configuration of the swim lane then we have the quick filters quick filters are nothing but if we uh, you know want to quickly search the issues or filter the issues on the board itself so for example on the board we have only my issues and the jql for that is assign is equal to current user so whosoever will be the user that is logged in if he goes back to the board or uh, he opens the board and he clicks on only my issues then only the issues that are being displayed uh, that will be displayed will be the issues that are assigned to that particular user so in this case these are the issues that are assigned to me then they are being displayed and these are you know uh, the filters board filters or the quick filters on the board now you can create multiple uh, you know other quick filters if there is a need in the project you will have you know say for example you want to have a quick filter uh, for a particular components then you can have you can write a query for the components to filter results based on the component and you can add that quick filter here you can simply write that query provide the name and click on add to add a quick filter now the next important thing is the card colors so i can color code the cards based on the different colors so if i go back to the board you will see there is a color coding for the cards right so this is these are the colors that are shown for the card a test story uh, is red and the, these are red this is you know like orange uh, so you can have different colors for the card different color coding if i want to you know rate or uh, give the color coding based on the priorities then i can select priorities or assignees and you can change these colors as well so for example i want admin to be you know dark blue i can simply select that particular color okay if i go back to the board now the cards will be coded as per the assignee okay so this admin has blue color um, the other user has different color and third user has different color so color coding is also possible for the cards then card layout is another important thing so card can be configured to show up three extra fields this is really important so many places you would have seen if you are working in jira that uh, there are multiple there are different you know additional fields that are displayed on the card so you, on the cards uh, either in the backlog or in the active sprint you can add three additional fields so additional fields could be you know say for example assignee you want to add okay let me add it in the active sprint so assignee is one that we want to add and say for example i want to add due date right because these are the things i want to track so if i want to add additional fields then i can add up to three additional fields so let me add the impact as well and if i go back then if these values are there right so three these three additional fields so you can see now you know this priority has been added as well okay and then assignee is being also shown so these three additional fields depending on what important information you want to see on the board itself for that particular task you can add these three fields in the card layout in the backlog as well as in the active sprint as well now the next uh, configuration is the estimation you can have the estimation uh, time tracking based on the none or remaining estimate and time spent you can change that and you can change the estimation statistic as well then when we go to the working days you can configure the working days uh, the region uh, the time zone etc and the working days as per the working days of your organization then when we go to the issue detail view so for example if we go back here when we click on any of the issue you will see that the detail uh, issue details are being shown right different fields print label etc 
So these detail or multiple or different additional details can be added to the issue detail view using the issue, de issue detail. So here what, you, what I can do is I can add additional, you know, fields to be displayed in the issue detail view. So in the date field, I, what I want to add additional, so change start date, for example, I want to, I want to see, uh, I want to see start date, I can add that and those details will be added or those fields will be added in the detail view of the issue on the board. So here if I go on the board and click on the issue, I'll see the additional, you know, fields that uh, that have been added in the issue detail view. Then the last field is basically the roadmaps. Roadmap is the new um, thing. So roadmaps are basically designed for the single project. Now because this project I have created a filter or board filter which contains multiple projects. So that is why it is giving me this this um, you know error. But uh, with with the roadmap you can create, uh, manage and visualize your team epics on the roadmap. So let me uh, you know edit this filter query and then let me just include one single project so that we can see the roadmap as well okay let me remove the other two next gen project and save this query okay go let me go back to the classic project go to the board okay so now you can see the roadmap is still in beta uh, and it is still you know you can you can try using it but uh, if I enable uh, this roadmap, then I can, you know, have the visibility basically uh, when we are planning that particular piece of work, what is the timeline and the dependency accordingly. So this, this is a detail or this is a bit, you know, like uh, advanced topic for uh, to be covered as part of this tutorial. But if you want to get more detail about the roadmap and uh, how you can configure roadmap you can simply go to the learn more about the roadmap link and it will give you a lot of explanation how to configure roadmap and use it in your project so that's all about the brief introduction of the configuration of the board or how you can configure board in jira and what all configuration options are available for configuring board in jira hope you like the tutorial Thank you very much for watching.